Excel is hell. So let's try and make it a little bit more fun. This kicks off my series on pranks in Excel. So let's get started on how to make data disappear and show a message. This is going to be very good to piss off your coworkers on a Monday morning. So here I've got a bunch of sample data. And what I want to do is I want to have it so that a little message will pop up, maybe annoy the coworker, tell them it's a Monday, something's going to happen, who knows, and then have all their data disappear, or at least make it look like the data is gone. So for this, we need a macro. Let's hit Alt F11. I've got the macro listed right here. What you want to do is just pop it into a module. You can go to Insert Module to create a new module and put your code in there. So here we go, it's very simple. Everything in green is a comment to show you how to work the macro and what it's about. And all you need is this line here and either this line or this line. So you only need two lines of code. It's very simple. First, we want a message box. Somebody's got a case of the Mondays. A little office space reference there. And then what I want to do is to make the worksheet hidden. Now, if you really want to annoy the coworker, what you can do is to make it Excel very hidden. Now, the reason that's going to annoy them a lot is because you can't unhide the worksheet by hand. You have to use another macro for that. However, if you want to make it so they're not completely pulling out their hair, just use this line right here. That'll make it so you can still unhide the worksheet by hand. Now what I'm going to do is to comment out this line right here and show you how this will work. So let's go back to the worksheet, Alt F11. Now I'm going to hit Alt F8 and run the macro. You can see we've got a message box. Somebody's got a case of the Mondays, but nothing has happened yet. So all the data in the background is still there. Now before I hit OK, look to the bottom here. We have sheet 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to hit OK, and sheet 1 has disappeared. Now they may or may not notice that. If they know what's going on, they may look down, see the sheet's gone, and then they can right click. And it's a little bit off the screen here, but if you go all the way second from the bottom, you'll see a button that says unhide. And then we can unhide sheet 1 and get the data back. So this is the nice way to hide your data because the user can still get it back using the mouse. Let's go back to the macro, remove the comment here, and add the comment here. If the line has been commented out, it will not work. Now we'll get the same message box, but this time it's going to be very hidden. Alt F11 to go back to the worksheet. Now let's run the macro, Alt F8, run. Same message, OK. Sheet is hidden. Right click. The same selection that said unhide is now grayed out. I simply do not have that option. I cannot click the little button that makes the pop up window appear that says Sheet 1 Unhide. So, what am I going to do? This is something that could really drive your coworker just crazy. So, if I go back to the macro, I'm going to now show you the only way to make the worksheet come back. So thankfully, I've included the option down here for how to make it come back. It is pretty much the same thing as this up here, but with a dot visible equals true. Let's go back to the worksheet, Alt F11, Alt F8, run. It'll come up with a message box again. And then we've got sheet one. So there you go, and that's a very simple way to uh, play a little trick on one of your coworkers. Now I'm going to show you how to make it run automatically. And that's very important because I don't think the user is going to run a macro that's going to screw his own worksheet. Or he might if you tell him to. <laughs> so let's hit Alt F11. Go back here and make sure that it will hide the worksheet. OK. Now there are many ways to make a macro run automatically. I'm going to show you just a quick, simple, easy way to do it. Let's go to the worksheet that contains the data that we would like to hide. So up in the left hand window up here, we see sheet one, double click that. 
go here where it says general just go to worksheet and this is what we want private sub worksheet selection change now if that doesn't automatically appear you can type it in by hand if you want the next thing is we want to type call space and then the name of this macro right here so what is contained after the word sub but before the parentheses so the macro is Excel prank disappearing data one now this is saying that whenever something is selected within the worksheet this macro right here is going to be called basically just meaning the macro will run so hit alt F11 to go back to the spreadsheet now just click anywhere within the spreadsheet notice I can move the mouse nothing happens but the second that I select another cell the macro runs and there you go let's unhide that so select a cell macro runs and that's a fun little prank you can play on coworkers or anyone you want just remember they have to have the setting enabled in Excel that allows macros to automatically run otherwise they have to allow the macros to run within this spreadsheet manually there will be a little bar that pops up here saying do you want to allow macros to run depending on their security settings so if they have macros turned off by default then this prank is not going to work unfortunately but that's all for this prank so why don't you give it a try and let me know what happens